Hello everybody, this is Cypher Deck, and we are going to start our Let's Play today. Um, <clears throat> so, I have started with the, the Lone Survivor. Um, I do have cargo ships on, I do have their weapons turned on, so we will be very specific about which ones we're going to go after. Um, so let's start taking a look at this base. Now, a lot of people just uh, go and start mining or do whatever it is that they're going to do, but I am waiting for a mining ship. So, let's, let's look at this platform and say, huh, what don't we need? And I am going to tell you right off the bat that I do not need these landing gears right here. And I tell you why. Number one, I never use them. Plus, this is a lot of space. This is a lot of space that's being taken up by them that could be used for um, grinders to uh, grind down ships. So, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and take these out because we won't need them either. Um, let's take that. Now, our, the whole purpose of this is to get the materials without mining to make our very first ship. It doesn't mean that we're going to make the whole ship uh, out of these parts because we will either have to mine or go and look for transports. Um, but what it does mean is that we have a place to start. So we're going to get these ground down. They're going to give us essential parts that we need. Steel plates, uh, construction components, and motors. Uh, the other items that we're going to need, which we will get hopefully off the ships that come flying by, are um, computer components, uh, interior uh, plates, and so on. Interior plates are something that we'll need, but they're very easy to make also. All we have to do is get some iron, which that, is, that ball right there is pretty much made of it. Um, and we have these, so I mean, we're not going to... I'm not going to have to worry about it too much. Um, the reason I didn't show you the process of me making the actual um, uh, game um, as far as the settings go is it just it takes so long to load into this game. I just want to get right into the gameplay. I will tell you what I have it set up as. So it is set up with... Um, uh, 10 times inventory as you can see I'm almost to my 4,000 weight or volume um, and we'll go ahead and stop there uh, the other thing is is that the refinery and the assembler are on three times three so inventory is times 10 uh, refinery and um, assembler are times three so let me go ahead and get in here drop these off And some people may uh, think of it as crazy. Oh, we got it. That's the that's the ship I want right there. Um, the private sail is probably the best ship you can start off with. And I will tell and show you why. The private sail, number one, has no turrets on it. No booby traps on it has all of the materials that you need to make a uh, mining ship um, but I, I, I don't actually tear this down completely I use it to make my disassembler so what I do is I sit, I put um, put this in front of a ship that's coming at it and I start um, just turning on the grinders and disassembling it um, so yes this is awesome for our first ship because this is the one we really need. It's going to give us a lot of interior uh, components. It's going to give us motors. It's going to give us um, computer chips uh, in the uh, solar panels um, and so much more. And what I'll end up doing, oh, and it also usually gives between, um, between um, two and ten uh, plutonium with it. Uh, or uranium, I'm sorry. So yeah, it's a nice little ship. Um, let's go ahead and get up to it. And we will go inside. We're going to go right past it. Turn on.
and go right in. Now, the only um, it's not always going to be a booby trap on these on on the sh on the ships that fly by. Uh, some of them uh, the uh, they're just out of uranium, so you have to put uranium in the engines from the cargo uh, from the the cargo containers, which may be blocked off. Um, others um, you just have to grind down a panel. Um, and others just have nothing you have to really worry about except for a turret on it. Um, military ships, we are not touching them. I just don't want to deal with them. They're very uh, inconvenient uh, because all they are is turret machines. But they have heavy armor, so we do want to get them at some point uh, because uh, guess what? We're going to be making our um, our 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 big ship out of because I I, I, t I have plans um, I have plans to make a large ship uh, at some point that's gonna have a gravity drive in it uh, if you don't know what that means uh, it's taking um, artificial gravity generators and uh, putting those facing outward uh, and then in front of that um, of that generator are artificial mass blocks and it's pushing the mass forward um, and it reaches top speed pretty fast and we're also going to be making missiles and other things out of that um, that I've been practicing with and I'll, I'll probably actually post a video uh, where I uh, show you something um, I've been designing it's a wedge that would go at the front of a ramming ship but the actual wet uh, wedge detaches and it goes flying at the ship using um, a gravity drive so we're almost there we want to make sure that dampeners are on and we'll go ahead and get right up here uh oh uh oh okay we're good so let's get it right there, and that's fine with me. Let's go ahead and tear down this door. Door has computer components and other things that we're gonna need, interior uh, plates as well as steel plates. So we'll get this torn down because I don't need doors. I'll need no stinking doors. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and take these down too. Um, because of the fact that they have a lot of uh, interior plates as well. Alright. And we'll go ahead and go in here. We're going to store everything in here. Let's go ahead and go here. This is going to be scrappy scrapper. That's catchy. Okay. Uh, gyroscopes, small reactors. Let's go ahead and turn that off because it does have solar cells to keep uh, the seat, the, the life preserver on. Um, and we'll go ahead and get the uranium. <clears throat> oh, that's why. Yeah, so we have 10 uranium. Okay. Actually, we'll put it in here. And um, I can now tear this down because I pretty much have free. Um, I have free. Um, I'm trying to think what I'm trying to say. With that ship, I don't have to actually um, waste uranium trying to get my energy back up whenever I sit in it. So that's cool. Cool.
Alright. Yeah, let's get the stuff that we have in here. Uh, we won't be able to take all of it, but we could take some of it. Oh, uh, we could take almost all of it. We'll go ahead and put it in here. the hovering cube. I don't know. It's our mecca. It is the reason we live for. <gasps> no, uh, <laughs> I'm not gonna worry about it. It's just a, it's just a cube, right? 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 Uh, huh? No fireballs. We're good. We're good. There we go. Get this one out of the way too, and then we will be done with the platform as far as this goes. We need to take out those, there's two layers of plates there, and then the edgings, the bevels. Um, then we'll start putting uh, conveyors in, putting grinders over top of the conveyors, and then have the conveyors lead over to a um, a box that's tied to the back of this. Um, we may have it tied in to both of them, but either way, it'll be tied in. Okay. I'm trying to, I got so many things on my mind that I want to do. Also, gonna go ahead and look for any other ships. No other ships. I do want to change the beacon. I actually want to move the beacon. I want to move the beacon. Oh, I actually want to move everything. I want to move the refinery over here along the side, and then have this right under it. I got plans, yo. I got plans. So let's kill the beacon. Poor Beaky. Uh, can I hold it? Oh, yeah, I can hold it. <laughs> if another ship comes into the area, uh, we are not going to go after it until we have that beacon posted. Actually, it doesn't really matter because we have Scrappy, but uh, I don't really want to run away from our platform without a beacon on it. Okay, so once we get this all in place, uh, we're going to stretch this out more. <clears throat> Actually, we're going to end up having to move everything on here. Um, just trying to think what I uh, plans I, I'm looking for. Good. I think that's probably the best place to go with. Actually, we want to look for a pretty close by location because I plan on linking um, the this to the, whatever asteroid I put it uh, the assembler on. All the asteroids are pretty far away from us. Those look the closest. Actually, that looks pretty close enough. I don't know. Anyway, that's not important right now. What's important is to get this back up and running. <sighs> My inventory is filling up way too quick still right, with uh, 4,000 capacity. Alright, so... Radio, ah, radio components are what's... causing it. Okay, we're almost done here. And I think I want to put it under here. I just don't want it to have to be in the way. 
think right here. Oh, here. Alright, so we'll get that on there. Uh, please let me know what you want me to change if you see anything that I'm doing wrong, which I'm probably doing everything wrong. Uh, but pretty much our, our plan is to get this uh, base finished. Once we have this base finished, then we're going to go ahead and go on to uh, building our next base. Um, actually, scratch that. Once... Um, once we have this base finished, we're going to have to have a, a fighter ship so that we can go take out the military vessels uh, and bring those back in for scrapping. So, that is chore number two. Chore number one is pretty easy to take care of. Uh, we just need all cell ships um, to be... Uh, coming into our area because cell ships have no turrets on them uh, well one of them has turrets the other two are pretty easy uh, even the one with turrets has two turrets that are easily uh, dealt with okay so we're done there let's go back around here by the way that's that's I gotta get rid of that that's making me mad <laughs> Scrappy. Right. Just looking around, seeing if I see anything else. I really do like the look of the engines now. Um, it makes it look uh, better. I used words to say stuff. Eh. There we go. Let's get this beacon back to at least working working order. Come on. Come on, beacon. Come on, beacon. Oh, small still tubes. Come on, beacon. Give me those tubes. Give me some tubes. That business shipment is we need that because that's going to give us um, some more resources that we need. Oh, large tubes. So many things to make this beacon. <laughs> Small beacons are so much easier to make, of course. Um, large tubes. We can, I think we're done with those. I may be wrong. Computers, computers, computers. It's not like I'm really worried about it. It's it's still twelve thousand meters out. I'm um, probably traveling around twenty meters per second, so it's gonna take a while to even get close to us. Yeah, I'm not. Uh, let's go ahead and get this. Nope. And as you saw, I was able to still move the ship without the um, the generator or the yeah the power generator turned on. Computers. I think it was. I think that's what it was on. You no, don't kill myself. Um. 
got computers. That's what I have in my inventory. Oh, I got the wrong things. I swear. I swear to the moon and the stars and the sky. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing there. <laughs> uh, that. Computers. You better start working with these. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. I just, I just want a beacon, man. Beacon. I don't even care if it just says beacon on it. <sighs> Alright, we're good. We got a beacon. It says beacon. Beacon 2. We're good. I'm good with that. Let's go ahead and go. <laughs> um, this has turrets on it, I believe. Unless it's the other one. If it's the other one, then we're fine. Or if it's not the other one, we still have, we have turrets to deal with. Either way, they're not really a menace. We just have to get into a point where we can turn them off. And there's a door on the back of these that we can access. Um, we just have to get around the back of it. So we'll go ahead and get this, and then we'll go ahead and end... Uh, once we have this in our hands, if I die, then I die, then we don't have it in our hands, and I'll still end the video. Uh, uh, uh. I'm just waiting for it to come into view to see which one it is, uh, because it could be two, uh, one of two ships. And I can't see it very well. I think it is the ship that I think it is, which means that it does have the turrets, but we're coming in on the side, it looks like. I may be wrong, but if we're coming in on the side, that's always good. This may not be the ship I think it is. It is not the ship I think it is. So, good. No turrets. No, it's good. So this one will be completely scrapped. This one, the the trap or the trick to it, was the um, the engine on the front uh, was uh, turned off because the uh, generator didn't have any power to it. Well, whenever they made the changes to it, they kind of messed that up. So I see that this one will probably be edited or fixed at some point uh, to uh, do what it was doing before. Let's get some speed on us and get back up there. I think I'm going to go ahead and just end it here. Um, just because it's going to take a little bit of time to get back there. And I really won't, I won't scrap it or do anything to it until you're back, uh, until we're back. So, uh, thank you for watching and we will talk to you next time. Have a great day. This is Cypher Deck. I'm out. What's the difference between me and you? Me and you.